We are in the distillery district, which is in Toronto, Canada. The site was uh, started in 1832 as a windmill, and it quickly became a distillery. The distillery produced uh, Canadian whiskey. And it produced, I think, up to uh, about two million gallons a year. When we picked it up, it was, uh, it was somewhat of a disaster. The uh, buildings were falling apart, the roofs were falling in, there was no heating systems. It only took a year and a half, but that was about 400 workers uh, working pretty much 24 hours a day. And in uh, 2001, when we opened, we opened with 100 different tenants, boutique uh, retailers, uh, restaurants, cafes, art galleries. When people come here, uh, they get to see things they've uh, never seen anywhere in the world. Nobody wants to travel a thousand miles and see something that they can see in their own community. Uh, when you come here, you get a Toronto experience. In August 1990, the uh, film industry in Canada took it over. So it actually became the largest Hollywood set outside of Hollywood. Movies such as uh, Chicago, Don't Say a Word, uh, The Recruit, uh, Cinderella Man, and uh, many, many more of them people would know. If you go to the uh, local microbrewery, uh, which is on site called the Mill Street Brewery, they're uh, manufacturing beer. You can go to our micro chocolate factory, which is renowned as the best Canadian uh, chocolate shop in the city. We also have a coffee shop here called Balzac's. Again, roasting and grinding on site. Uh, there's no franchises down here, so anything you're gonna consume down here will be new. They all use local fresh products. The pat patios are some of the largest in Toronto, which create uh, great vibrant experiences in addition to the tasty fare. So when you come to the distillery, you really get a sense of Toronto. Sort of like when you're in Rome, do what the Romans do. If you're gonna come to Toronto, you have to come to the distillery.